My name is Vijay Bora. I'm a board certified orthopedic surgeon specializing in hip and knee replacements at Medical Center Hospital, and this is Ask a Doc. First question, what is orthopedic surgery? Orthopedic surgery is essentially the discipline um, taking care of any musculoskeletal disease. Anything to do with the bones, muscles, tendons, joints um, is considered orthopedic surgery. It involves operative care as well as non-operative care. If you have arthritis, does that mean you will need orthopedic surgery? Arthritis doesn't necessarily mean that you, un you need to undergo a joint replacement surgery. There are several stages of arthritis, mild to very severe, and most people in the earlier stage of arthritis can be treated non-operatively. There's various modalities that you can use, including um, medications or physical therapy or modifying your lifestyle or um, various kinds of intraarticular injections. Several injections, including steroid injections, artificial joint fluid injections, or stem cell injections. But there are a multitude of different treatment options that patients can go through pre, uh, prior to surgery. When do I know it is time to see an orthopedic surgeon? Basically, when your pain is affecting the quality of life, that's when you know that it's time to see an orthopedic surgeon. When your pain is getting to a point where, where you can't do the things that you want to do, like play golf or tennis or lift your kids, at that point then you know that it's time to see an orthopedic surgeon. And quality of life is the best metric to use when you need to see a physician of any discipline for that matter. Is surgery always the answer? Are there alternatives you recommend before surgery? As always, uh, we you know tend to keep surgery as the last option. You always want to try conservative treatment methods prior to surgery. Uh, mild, moderate osteoarthritis can be treated with medication as well as therapy and steroid injections or hyaluronic acid injections, which is a form of artificial joint fluid. There's also developing treatments such as uh, platelet-rich plasma, which is a variant of taking a certain subset of cells from your blood or stem cells, which are emerging treatments uh, to treat arthritis. And these are all steps that can be taken prior to surgery. Um, now, end-stage disease, where it's bone on bone or and you've tried everything possible, and in that situation, surgery may be the best option. What are the benefits of staying local for orthopedic surgery versus traveling out of town? What are the benefits of a total joint care center? Medical Center Hospital has had a total joint care center for several years now. Uh, we have performed several hundreds and hundreds of orthopedic uh, surgeries, especially hundreds of total knee and hip replacements in MCH. Um, our uh, complication rate is as good or better than the national average. For patients considering leaving town, I think one thing you need to ask yourself is the, what is the success rate and what is the rate of complication of the hospital you go into? At MCH, with the Total Joint Program, most of our patients go home less than 24 hours. We have a rapid recovery program that makes sure that people are up and walking immediately after surgery within a couple of hours. And um, it is a phenomenal program that includes brings everyone together from various disciplines, physicians, anesthesiologists, physical therapists, occupational therapists, and the goal is to improve the patient experience as well as a faster return to work and as well as phenomenal outcomes. Um, the joint care program has been around for more than seven, eight, eight years, and we have done hundreds and hundreds of hip and knee replacements every year and with phenomenal success. What are the risks, benefits, and possible complications for these types of surgeries? No surgery is without risk. That said, hip and knee replacements historically be, have been the most reliable procedures with more than 99% of patients uh, being extremely satisfied with the outcome of their uh, surgeries. There are various risk factors that predispose people to developing complications. Uh, people who have a history of smoking or excessive alcohol use or uncontrolled diabetes as well as, you know, obesity. If these risk factors are controlled, um, the surgery is a great option for people with end-stage arthritis and something that can greatly improve their quality of life.